Welcome everyone to Autumn Asylum Day 2, four huge matches lining this card, two title matches, world title Iron Man matchup, and we start with Prince of Persia versus Mr. Clean. I am the Sentinel. And I'm Josh again, and I'm so hyped for this show. I'm going insane, so I also belong in an asylum. Well, so we right all place. should be locked away from time to time, especially when uh, this show likes to crash land into your building. And yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Even if you locked yourself away, you're, you specifically are still not safe. Here comes Prince of Persia. There are so many band-aids on my house. Well, the, well hey, listen. Uh, at least we got you some 3M tape. We've been actively supplying you 3M tape in the same regularity that you still receive Sandy Bananas from this month. I was just about to say, like, I've been waiting for my new tag for my new car to come in the mail. It did with a Sandy Banana attached to it. Well, Prince of Persia, who has... He, now he's actually going to bill you for sending those because he has an, incurred an unfathomable amount of debt. From the current AVP champion, A. Bizzle, who defended his title in the main event last night against Sephiroth. And here go goodbye fans who now stand in reverence in honor of this man who has been fighting his ass off, Josh Again, This year made it to the finals of the World Championship Tournament at the WrestleBration. Beat Johnny Cage, who thought that he earned the shot more than Persia. Persia proved him wrong. Is now in this matchup against Mr. Clean, who... This matchup started basically because A. Bizzle, in the interest of cutting costs so he could pay for his championship belt, he won't yeah. admit that, but that's why it happened, folks. Uh, but in an effort to save some money, he asked Mr. Clean to actually do most of the custodial duties around all the buildings that we go to and all the venues. And Prince of Persia, I don't know whether you know this, Josh, again, Persia is full of sand. You don't say. And yes, and he's looking around like this would normally be all sand here. As, uh, what happened to my sand? Yes, this is uh, he's normally shooting swamp rats in his 316. And uh, anyway, <laughs> it's, it is 316, like he's Steve Austin. Here comes Mr. Clean. <laughs> here comes the bald man. Bad references aside, here comes Mr. Clean, who is feeling pretty fresh, um, obviously because he's Mr. Clean, but after a long run as as dr dirty of course has not had a ton of success here uh since being repatriated to the clean side of the force i don't know what i am with the star wars references today i was about to say like like prince of Persia is not actually from tatooine no that he's he's not but it is sandy there That's but mr clean planet, the point but... is mr clean is really tired of cleaning up all the sand that prince of persia tracks around the building so they've come to the point where he's like, clean up your own mess. Prince of Persia says, no, it's your job. And here we are. <laughs> Who you got? And Captain Planet seems to have tagged along the other half of green and clean. And uh, Colorado will tie I'm up going, to start I'm going, this match. I'm, well, while you're busy squeeing, um, I'm going with Mr. Clean to win this match because I'm sick of the, the goddamn sandy bananas. I, I'm over it. It's not funny anymore, Prince of Persia. Well, listen, he's just trying to make a buck. You don't know the interest. Oh, God, German suplex <laughs> from Mr. Clean dropping him right on the top of his head. And, yeah. of course, that Damn. big sands of time, you know, that that throws a lot of sand around. You know, yeah, you see that. Every I mean, he's, time he does it, Mr. Clean gets more frustrated. Yeah, like, oh, Damn yeah. It. Stop. And Mr. Clean is a neat freak. You know, I mean, you could probably tell. And, oh, God, what a nice counter there. Using Ooh. his other leg, almost a, an inverted inseguri, if you wheel. That knee got him right in the nose. Yeah, that was really uh, really effective as uh, senior referee uh, Jonah Hill. Actually, Jerry Jones is assigned to this contest, as the All Cowboys right. season has been happening. And yeah. now big uppercut. As uh, We thank you, Jerry, for being here for the entirety of the night, including our big... 30-minute Iron Man main event between the former Heroes of Fortune for the World Heavyweight Championship Symbiote Spider-Man one-on-one with Aquaman. A nice over-the-top suplex, take a drink, or a scoop of ice cream. Yeah, take a shot. I, I Once again, I only have water with me around oh, this God. go around. Kick to the head. Well, good thing there's no sand in that water. And good thing it's not salt water, because I've heard that he tries to give water bottles, and he's, you know, as a prank... You know, because he watches a lot of Jackass, does Prince of Persia, I found out. Of course he does. So he, he like, takes seawater and tries to, like, package it in Aquafina bottles. Float over DDT, as Mr. Ooh. Clean so far has been on top of this matchup from the very well, beginning. Well, I mean, 
to be fair, I don't. I'm not surprised because Prince of Persia, as we've been discussing, has been an annoying little prick. Literally earlier today, backstage, oh, Mr. Minute. Clean was you no know, cleaning, and Prince of Persia was like, missed a spot, left a little bit of sand. You missed a spot, left a little yeah, bit of sand. Oh God, the double <laughs> choke slam, the choke bomb. Yeah. As Almost Prince of Persia's head hit every, or Mr. Clean's head hit every turnbuckle on the way down. Yeah. You know, well, what does Mr. Clean have in mind here? And oh, just a kick! Oh, turned Prince of Persia inside out with that yeah. kick to the leg, trying to stop that Sands of Time, that actually beating people Sands of Time. Yeah, like uh, it's a good thing Prince of Persia has that full head of hair because he was bald. He probably would have got some rug burn on the top, the back of his head. Oh, absolutely! I'm surprised that Mr. Clean isn't busted open from the back of his head with the way he landed on that choke bomb. Yeah. And uh, Prince of Persia, you know, once he gets involved in a matchup, he fights really hard. We don't talk enough about the quality of match that Prince of Persia puts out almost every time he gets into the ring. And honestly, I imagine you're a little oh, right torn on this matchup because it wasn't too long ago that the, both of these guys helped you on that episode of TAW Rivals during that unsanctioned match well, with uh, Eden to be named. I am incredibly grateful for both of them. And, you know, I don't really think this is a matter of, like, a personal grudge or animosity. This is just more like business frustrations between the two of them manifesting themselves here tonight. This is like clean yeah. up your dishes. They're like roommates arguing, clean up your dishes. No. Okay, we have a ring. We're fighting about it. And <laughs> yeah, basically. That's basically what we're at with this. But And when I clean something, don't immediately make it dirty just to be a yeah. dick. Oh, wait a second. It might happen here, though. Sands of time. Oh, no. Big sands of time. Is that going to be enough? And is Captain Planet going to get involved here? Probably too admirable uh, and too honorable is Don Cheadle. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Magic Eraser. <laughs> Just hit him wow. with the magic eraser right following the cover. Could be over here. One, two, no, only oh, two. I thought that was it. Wow. Damn. A Sands of Time and countered right into a magic eraser. What a tenacity by both of these individuals here tonight. That was a hell of a sequence right there. Yeah, now Mr. Clean now going up and laying down some punches, some knuckle sandwiches. Damn. And countered after three or four of them by Persia. Man. As Persia Who do you got have winning this matchup, Sean? Well, it's hard to say. You know, Persia's had a lot of momentum lately. But, mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Clean, he's really, really tired of cleaning up after us. <laughs> yeah. I hear him complaining a lot in the halls, down, you know, up and down the halls. Because he's not a quiet dude. He's like me. He's got a very projecting voice. And in yeah. stadiums like this, oh, went for a crossbody countered by Persia. Yeah, I, I've heard the phrase, God damn it, yeah. backstage you hear that so many times. That mudda, you know water, you know. Oh, crossbody. Yeah. Looks like they tried to crossbody each other at the same time. And cover here. One, two, three. Oh, only Ooh. two. And Joe most three as the referee's hand was coming down for it. That was that was that was a little bit closer than the magic eraser earlier. Yeah, and and it shows the Prince of Persia. He's he's starting to get a little bit more worn, as Mr. Clean. You know, Mr. Clean has got credentials. Former tag team champion as part of Dirty Wah. You know, unfortunately, his relationship with he and himself and Pollution didn't really work out that well. Yeah, and, but you know, all the more adds to the chip on Mr. Clean's shoulder to get a win here tonight. In a, in a major event setting, and now Persia's starting to look a little bit worn here. It took several kidney shots. Yes, as cheerleader oh. Don Cheadle. Oh. What? And, oh, oh, what an oh, inverted oh. slam there. An inverted tornado DDT. Pin that man. Yeah, Mr. Clean goes for the cover, and I think he just took a little bit too long recovering and a punch yeah. to the dick. Message oh. sent. And that message was, I will dirty up whatever I want. I like sand. Well, Leave me alone. You got to give a wait a second. Sands of time out of nowhere. Sands of time. Can he oh, get him for the pinfall it. here? After That's all the, the punishment one. he's taken. The cover from Persia. One, two, three. Persia Ooh, got, got him. It. What a matchup. Back and forth the entire way. Captain Planet, cheerleader Don Cheadle not involved. Yeah, and not happy. Or his brother Rick, or whatever we call them, doesn't matter. He's not here either. <laughs> Prince, of, Prince of Persia 
is your yeah, winner that guy. who you've got to give real credit to. He has ridden a wave of momentum from the start of this year to now. Can, where can he take this in the coming weeks and months? A great win for Persia. Your thoughts, Josh, again? Uh, I guess cleanliness doesn't always win. And it looks like Mr. Clean is going to be stuck cleaning up sand for the foreseeable future. You hate yeah. to foresee it, but here it is being seen. But we've got three more matchups coming up here on this major day two of Autumn Asylum title match time. Ooh, Women's I'm excited for this one. Championship on the line. The ultimate David versus Goliath, as far as our women are concerned. Wonder Woman versus Sydney, the Pink SPD Ranger. The Pink Ranger won this opportunity at the Midsummer Showdown when we had that big hole number one contenders night. And that matchup between Black Cat and Yuna and the Pink Ranger, where the Pink Ranger pinned Black Cat to earn this opportunity, she might have the chance to beat this woman who has been dominant since she has gotten here and also joined DC, done caring, which has definitely given her a leg up against most of the competition. Mm -hmm. Can the Pink Ranger do what none of the Rangers have ever been able to do, which is something? <laughs> Anything. I, I feel like this is a big win for the Rangers and all just being in a title match. Being in a title match, the Rangers, any Ranger has not been in a championship match since the other Rangers in 2014, back when I was just kind of whimsically making matchups that you could see each and every day and not building to the way that we've built CIW up to this point, up and through our 10th year. But this woman is a tough cookie. Can she win against the ultimate underdog here, somebody nobody expects is going to win this matchup. Can the Pink Ranger do this, Josh, again? She metaphorically and literally has a huge task ahead of her. Yeah. I, 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 would, be, I would be shocked. I mean, stranger things have happened, but totally. I, honestly, I don't see it happening tonight. I, I'm, I'm, I think Wonder Woman's got this in the bag. Well, there's I don't want to count out Sydney, but... Well, there's a lot of questions wrong. in this. Will the Rangers get involved? Will DC get involved? And I just mm -hmm. got a text from Mae Bizzle um, saying, oh, I, apparently there's been a request for a special guest referee here tonight that A. Bizzle's going to allow. So who we are going to find out, there is a special official. Jerry Jones is taking this one off. But who is it hmm. going to be as we don't really see many special guest referees for women's match? Well, I guess that's not true. Because we saw Jimmy Corderas and, and Natalie Portman, who has disappeared. And that is what it's all about for the Women's Championship. As these two yeah. women get set to take on. But this is an interesting dynamic here. Who is our referee here? And Wait a minute. What? It's Black Cat. If, that's Black Cat. And uh, all right. I mean, we've seen Black Cat officiate before. Back at Massacre, she was the referee. It was the unbiased referee between Cindy the Pink Ranger and the Yellow Ranger. And mm -hmm. there was a, you know, a little bit of words had that night, but nothing major to talk of. But I don't know how fair this is, given that Black Cat was the one pinned by the Pink Ranger to earn this opportunity. Hmm. But, Interesting move by a Bizzle here. Yeah, but then again, it's not like Black Cat and Wonder Woman have any interest in each other, any love lost between those two. You know, Marvel and DC, two different genres, usually don't get along as far as any sort of ratings of any sort are concerned. Yeah. So, Josh, again, what does the addition of Black Cat do to the complexity of this match? And here we go, car and elbow tie up, squeeing again. Whoa, power slam! Immediately for the power slam, damn! Sydney hitting us, striking on the iron was hot. Damn. But, but Wonder Woman honestly just popped right back up like nothing happened. That's kind of scary. Well, Wonder Woman, I mean, she is so powerful. That Amazonian power. You know, we've seen it more than once. And now looking for a crossface chicken wing. Tell us how you really, maybe Sydney heard me heard me while she, while uh, the entrances were happening. Well, saying look, that I think Wonder Woman's got this. Well, let's entertain the idea that she can actually win this, Josh, again. Letting Black Cat, who is a new X Factor in this, aside, what does Sydney have to do to get the victory over someone like Wonder Woman here tonight? More of that. More yeah, of good, what she Good vertical did. suplex. And yeah. now wrenching the head. Just wrenching the head to the side as really trying to slow this down to Sydney's pace, who has that big flatliner we've seen her use. 
Mm -hmm. And that could be... That's actually how she won the matchup against uh, Yuna and Black Cat. As Black Cat is getting a little too close for comfort for my liking for yeah. an official. Now, but, that is going to be a huge distraction in this match. Well, and, and to what end? Too, you know, is it, it if you're Black Cat, who who do you have more of a vested interest in winning this? Because, like, on the one hand, if Pink Ranger wins and Black Cat and the Pink, you know, that they've already had the report that she might look for a title shot in response to that. Oh, and a counter with a big right hand that Ooh. dazed, completely dazed the Pink Ranger. Sydney, Sydney was spaghetti leg, man. But on the other hand, if Black Cat is resentful of the fact that she's not in this matchup because the Pink Ranger pinned her, you know, it's it's just hard to gauge. Yeah. It's just a, a very, uh, it, but you can feel the tension, Josh, again. Yeah, I'm, I'm just worried that she's going to get involved in some kind of way. I know, it's it's like, and Black Cat, it's a lingering I mean, threat. for the most part, Black Cat has been pretty honorable in CIW. She fought mm -hmm. the Natalie World Order hard all of last year and got screwed over a good number of times. You know, mm -hmm. now is taken to this officiating role, big body slam. Oh, there we go. There goes Wonder the power Woman. of Wonder Woman. Yeah, and there oh, goes the Didn't nice respond counter. with a nice counter. Quick counter from the Pink Ranger. Oh, and a low blow. Oh, Meanwhile, dear. a mutilation. Message that's sent. The, uh, that's the DC right there. But right now, you got to give credit to the Pink Ranger. She's been staying toe to toe with Wonder Woman for right now. Yeah. It has not backed down. I mean, yeah, she does have the obvious good. Look at this. Now, another power slam. Tell us how you really Another feel, power Cindy. slam. Well, I think people probably thought, well, she doesn't have the size that Wonder Woman has, and but trying to demonstrate the pound for pound power game that I didn't know that Sydney had in her, and now wrenching I mean, the I leg. Mean, let's be real. Let's be real. She's a fucking Power Ranger. Yeah, wrenching the leg, trying to stop that Amazonian leg drop that won That's Wonder smart. Woman the championship. Mm -hmm, that is very smart. And again, and going again, after the leg. legs. And, you know, Pink Ranger, you know, this is, I, I got to admit, in the early goings of this matchup so far, I'm impressed with what Sydney has been demonstrating. Me too. You know, as as Wonder Woman is, is seems to be maybe have underestimated her opponent here a little bit. I, I would agree with that. Oh, now Sydney taking a powder. Well, and now, oh, springboard yeah. and completely whipped. Wow. Went all the way over the top. And that might be a moment where the big frame of Wonder Woman actually went to her detriment. As a little bit whoa, of that whoa, momentum. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, hold on now. Hey, now. Oh, wow, that was a quick count there from Black Cat. And, uh, okay. You know, trying to get this sort of sorted in the ring. Wants an actual definitive winner. You know, but that, that, that is that is the most get your ass back in this that ring that I've ever seen from a referee. Way fast. Yeah. And, you know, you have to wonder whether that would have happened if Wonder Woman was back in the ring. What do you think Wonder Woman thinks about this addition that a Bizzle's thrown into the mix? Because this is her championship match, and that's changed yeah. the entirety of her preparation. Probably not happy about it because, again, it's a big distraction for both competitors. Yeah, and again, back to the leg. Smart. Back again, to the leg, smart. trying to stop that leg drop. Would make it harder. And she, and you just hit her with a backbreaker because when you do the leg drop, you land on your coccyx. Yeah, so. well... And eliminating that vertical base that Wonder Woman, you know, we talked about the height and size advantage. You take that away from Wonder Woman. And that mm -hmm. might be the key to victory. No one's been able to do it yet. And now, oh, nice counter there. Wonder Woman now with an atomic drop. Dude, when's the last time we saw an, an atomic drop? An oldie but a goldie there from Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, 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 Flatliner. Oh, oh. Sydney got the Flatliner. Can she win the championship? Can she Come do on, what Sydney, no one me wrong. The cover here. One, two, three. F wait a minute. God, wait a, why? Wait a minute. Why? Black Cat just broke up the count. The referee stopped at two. And now, now wait a second. And now Black Cat attacking, attacking okay. Wonder Woman. And now I, I'm I just all sorts of them. I'm just all sorts of confused here. As Sydney had this one. I mean that meant it was over. It was over. The ref count went to three. And now oh vaulting Pink Ranger out of the ring. Oh no. And now oh now oh, oh, no. look at how quick the count is. And maybe that that was oh come on wait a minute. Wait a minute, Black Cat, come rip. on, put the chair away. No! Why? 
Why? And now chair shots, and there's nothing that Pink Ranger can do. She'll be disqualified as she's no selling these chair shots as this Damn. exchange is taking place. As Black Cat is swinging and like, swinging. You are not cough me. You this are not no. A and a body you will slam. Not cough me and this oh title. god, a chair shot after the body oh. slam. And Damn. I don't know what to make of this, Josh, again. Black Cat has gone into business for herself. Yeah. And, you know, this is the chaos that A. Bizzle CIW oh. has brought. This is why we needed Corleone. She's attacking both competitors. Well, I think that there's some, to some degree, Black Cat's going, listen, this is more about Pink Ranger, but I'm not friends with you. I'm not trying to help you win either. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I got your message about joining the DC fan club. No thanks. Yeah, uh, and a uh, cat's cat claw. claw. And a cat's claw. Uh, and, and now goes the Pink Ranger. And that's from the official, ladies and gentlemen. And now this match is completely out of whack here. Devolved. Yeah, and and how can you be? And again, that, that as you quoted, that get your ass in the ring. And now a double team. Come on really? now. This isn't right. Suplex. God. Damn it, A-Bizzle. A double soup. But yeah, this is a beast fall and a Trump kick to the side of the head and a <laughs> kick to the gut just to make sure Wonder Woman knows. And now you can't win. You're, You're not. not in the match. What? Black Cat. Black Cat. I think Black Cat has lost. Black Cat has snapped here. Why would you allow this, A-Bizzle? But you know what? Why not? Because he's feeling good because he beat Sephiroth last night after a wonderful night one, folks. Go back and watch night one, the tag championships, and DC's riding high as they won their matchup against the Mario and Luigi in the impromptu edition of Jack Black and Eclipse of Tenacious E in that triple threat hardcore match. Piccolo beating Pepsi Zero and the debut of John Wick to assist Neo in whatever the new, the whatever the Keanu faction is. That we are going to, uh, we're going to hear more about, I suppose. But Riddick getting a loss. Agent 47 sent up to the Adirondacks for a warehouse that had nobody in it. And speaking of <laughs> empty, seeing of empty promises here, how how is there any chance in hell that as we see another kick to the back, is there any chance Pink Ranger can pull out of this? No, I mean, because again, like she had Wonder Woman beat and Black Cat held up the count. So, I just just end this. And now, yeah, this is this is just sickening. And you know, there's no love lost between Wonder Woman oh, and Black Cat. And now that half Boston Crab, we have seen so many people tap out to it, and now saying no and, and stopping that attempt is Black Cat. And oh, come on! And springboard, and that time it missed again. Oh. As Wonder Woman is not doing too well with the aerials on this night. Yeah, I mean, again, like, oh, not... God. Oh, 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 oh. God. Basement drop Pink Ranger's kick. not doing too well with the boots to the face. I know, and God bless the Pink Ranger. She's still trying, but She's it's trying practically two-on-one. There's no way you can win when the official's on the take. And another yeah. kick to the back and wrenching the arms. Trying to pull the arms off like Quan Chi in Mortal Kombat. Cat Chi. Yeah. Oh, God. Coming to T-A-W-T-F. As... Oh, yikes. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, good luck with that. As a, that, as a shot that to the is knee. A, that is nightmare fuel right there. But you know what's the most aggravating thing about this, Josh, again? Is how lucky is DC? I know, right? How Once lucky... again, they, they, they find themselves in just the perfect spot. Yeah, they lucked out by A. Bizzle adding the impromptu team of Tenacious E in so they could pin Mario and it was way more chaotic and they sneak away with retaining their tag titles. And then this, and it really makes me worry, Josh, again, of what tonight between Symbiote Spider-Man and Aquaman is gonna be like. They with, are just always in the, the perfect rotation to get away with stuff. And another cat's claw, and it's been like this for years. No one has been able to stop these people because they've been lucking their way out of the, and you know who taught them how to luck their way into success? Uh, he shall, who, he who shall not be named. Yeah, him. Oh God, what an interception! Oh. Black wow. Cat intercepted the drop kick, and now more rushes to the arms. This is, this is just 
a, a humiliation this ritual. Is disgusting. At this is disgusting. And where are the other Rangers on this night? You know, and you know what it is, is that Sydney trying to be admirable says I'm trying to do this alone. Nobody suspected that Black Cat would just go absolutely rogue and I'm slapping this shit out of He's gone Wonder ape Woman. shit. This is, uh... But I think just to reaffirm that there's no allegiances here between Black Cat, I think this is just personal between the Pink Ranger, making sure that she understands that <laughs> she done fucked up. As Black yeah. Cat might put it. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, and now, oh, and now the Amazonian leg drop. Oh, that's no. gotta oh, be just, it. Just, just call, just count. And that's it. it. The cover here. One, two, three. And I'm amazed that she counted a regular pinfall like it mattered. <laughs> yeah. And Wonder Woman retains the championship under the most frustrating of circumstances. The reign of Wonder Woman continues. Your thoughts, Josh, again. Thanks, Black Cat. Yeah. Thanks, Abyssal. Thanks for you nothing. Guys, you guys are great. Yeah. Lovely. I'll just tell them, I'll tell Pink Ranger her dreams died in a marching accident as Wonder Woman <laughs> somehow gets her way and looks, and I don't know whether she needed luck, but you look at the way Pink Ranger dominated the first part of this show. And it really makes you wonder what would have happened if the fairs were square, but it wasn't tonight. Wonder Woman, your winner. What does this mean for the final participant of DC later on tonight? But we've got the biggest tag team match in CIW history. My God. Hellfire well, and Brimstone God. versus Shiva and Kratos. The alliance that is, you know, they're not friends. They were rivals, bitter rivals last year, trading the CIW championship. And they both run afoul of Satan and the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper costing Kratos his belt. These four gods have been at odds with each other for the better part of a year. And now we have finally gotten these, tag, these teams together for a tag team match. And this is regular tag team rules, which I actually makes me a little bit nervous, won't lie to you. I given the afraid. participants involved. But because we have a good chunk of time before all four of these men make it into the ring, tell me who you got and why. Well, first before I get into that, have you reinforced had this ring reinforced? Please say yes. Um not between the women's match and this match, no. Fuck. Uh you'd have to ask me <laughs> okay. Bizzle. It's it's made with moon material. So, so, uh, now I'm even more worried. Why? You could have just not told me that. Now I'm even more worried. It's so you know, I, I don't think the ring's going to disintegrate into powder, but you know, we've these are deities, so we had to use something you know a little bit extraterrestrial, which the moon is technically. So I'm so tired of all this weird moon shit. Hey, Bizzle. Like, and Listen. I just got a text message from the rock from, from <laughs> saying he's the rock and this is my moon. And no, you no, you were right the first time. You got a text message from the rock saying I am yeah. a bizzle now. As, <laughs> as, here, as here comes the Grim Reaper. As we can uh, we hardly ever see this man actually his whole body as he makes his entrance. He is the, a man. He, there's, he's, there's too much of him. Yeah, he never watches full movies. He only watches the clips. As <laughs> this man makes his way to the ring, a saunter, if you will. But yeah. He, but this deity has been on quite the roll here in 2024. Beating mm -hmm. Kratos at the WrestleBration with the help of Satan. Beating Shiva yeah. at a, in the summertime with the help of Satan. And now is in this tag team matchup where he's the only one who is not a world's champion of these four individuals. Mm -hmm. And it bothers him because he's the paperwork guy in Helheim, you know, in hell, because Satan does a lot of the administrative work and, you know, the Grim Reaper handles a lot of the legislative work. As Grim Reaper and Satan have decided that they are much stronger at having joined forces but little did they think they were going to incur the wrath of these two types of gods as they have but right now it has been pretty even momentum wise between these four it is will we even see a conclusion to this because every time these four have been around it's just been non-stop brawls yeah and then disappearances 
I, I honestly like I, I think if one team is to win this, I'm going with Shiva and Kratos because like you've got the two of the most destructive gods ever teaming yeah. up, even if they're not best buddies. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But I'm also very open to the idea that uh, like we might get a finish to this match. We might not. I don't know. The, yeah. the, the ring might explode. I'm, uh, I'm genuinely we afraid. We all of, die, yeah. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the power that's going to be in this ring. I mean, it is just every time that these four have made contact, brawls, whether it was Satan versus Kratos, you know, back at Massacre, where, this, where Shiva came in after Grim Reaper got involved, and that ended in a brawl that ended with, you know, the disappearing act you know, the summoning move of both Grim Reaper and Satan that they both used multiple times on this program mm -hmm. that I still don't like and don't appreciate. Yeah. Because that should be at the whim of our production team, not them. Just saying. We don't pay them to work production and mess around with our television show. Just saying. Here comes Kratos. And the ovation for this man every time he comes out is absolutely staggering. Josh again. Yeah. This this is what you call a made man, Sean. Jo Kratos came in from the original King of the Spring Tournament in 2021, and to say this man has been dominant is an understatement. Has only lost because of either fuckery and no other reason. Yeah. <laughs> either fuckery or no other reason. That's been You it. say dominant. You say he was dominant. He, I say he came in and wrecked shit. Yeah. The only person to have ever really gotten the actual better of him is his tag team partner tonight. Mm -hmm. Shiva. And, and she, Kratos came back, or Shiva came back to help Kratos when the Hellfire and Brimstone reunited and continued to beat down on Kratos and, you know... It turned into one of those, the enemy of my enemy is my friend type of motions. I'm not saying Dusty and Nikita, but boy. Anyway. <laughs> this are going to right on past that. Yeah, but in any case, this man who still looks empty without championship gold around his waist. Yeah, he still looks weird. It still looks weird, but that has not stopped him from his goals. But he knows he has to beat these two down. There has to be a winner between these gods eventually. And they know this. Who do you have winning this matchup, Sean? I, oh, who the hell knows? No pun intended, but who the hell knows? I, I cannot gauge one way or another. Not even Record of Ragnarok Tournament itself has a toss-up match quite like this. There is, you know, you talk about the unstoppable forces meeting the immovable objects. You know, yeah. Satan had kind of a losing streak going for a while. Reuniting with the Grim Reaper has truly helped both individuals. But what is it going to take as in singles matches, it's been mostly Kratos and Shiva getting the upper hand. Here we go. Dear God, Jerry Jones, be careful. Uh, oh, and immediately. No, and immediately oh, no. No. Oh, no. Jerry, no. No. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry no. Jones was punched out of the ring. <laughs> that, this match is not even ten seconds No, God, this is oh, this is bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. I am bad. afraid. I am afraid. I am terrified. And there's no Jones, referee. There's no way you can help, and that's if you like, if you comment, if you share, if you subscribe. The hashtag save, save a referee, referee today. today, please, dear Lord Jerry, be careful. Oh no! This man is already dealing with the Cowboys, and he's gonna—he's gotta have his wits about him. As oh god! Oh, watch out, Jerry! No, careful! Oh, what a clothesline! That clothesline I... bulldog combination is oh no! No, Jerry! Knees. This is this is already degenerating. This man has a no. family. Knees to the gut for Kratos, as this oh. is just already disintegrated. You hate to see it. You hate. You really hate to see it, but it is an already an all-out brawl here, ladies and gentlemen. Jerry Jones in Capen. This is an old man. Jerry Jones is not a young man. This match was a second old, and he was already and it was, flying I, out. I of said, already. Jerry Jones, be careful. Dead. And, <laughs> and now you spoke it into existence, Sean. As the as this is still, I mean, Satan is the legal man here. 
as, as is Kratos and Grim Reaper. Wait a minute, what's Grim Reaper doing? Choke slam out of the ring! Oh my god! And now Satan going up to the top! What are you doing? Elpo Trump! Oh, Nobody there! She was able to sidestep that one. Oh man. Look at the submission hold. Damn. Yeah, they are really going at it here. And so uh, this Jerry Jones is 81. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Keep oh. this man safe. Please. This is why we need your likes and your comments and your shares and yeah. your subscriptions and switching that bell button to all so every time that we post you know it. Referees count up to six. I don't even know if either any of these people care. As yeah. Satan the legal man, Satan, Kratos the legal man, and oh, an elbow yep, drop to the dick. Did you see an elbow drop Kratos in the dick as, as Grim Reaper was grinding his forearm against his head? As oh, I just don't even know what to say. I I have no words. I'm 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 still terrified. Like yeah, being here too. at ringside makes me super nervous. I won't lie yeah. to you. And oh, 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 a spear! There we go! Kratos with a spear and a, oh, and a kick to the ball. Oh, damn it! Message Man, sent. this is a roller coaster already. Tag into the Grim Reaper. God. We did this. I feel like this match needed Jimmy Corderas. <laughs> No, we don't want him to. We don't want him to die I either. I know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Cause he still likes wrestling sometimes. Insiguri. Yeah, he's a he's a draw. Yeah, we we do. Yeah, that's right. He's he's one of the most <laughs> valuable people CIW has. It turns out. As uh, yeah, yeah, he folks, beat TNA in the ratings. He was he. That is true. You cannot take that away from a nice hip toss from the Grim Reaper leg drop. Oh, the man. uh, not from the Amazon, just a regular from the underworld leg drop. Yeah, regular family-friendly underworld leg drop. Legs are a lot more bony, and yeah. uh, now oh, a nice and, sweep. And family-friendly for some reason. Well, that I don't speak to that. It's probably all the paperwork. But yeah. now Shiva here, as Shiva and Satan. Shiva, who took quick work of Satan, and a nice big uh, that twisting her karana, that corkscrew, twisting head scissors, thingy. I I still don't know how he does that. The like, Kurirana. There we go. That's not cultural appropriation. As we, uh, <laughs> it's culturally appropriate. And oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. And into now the balls. Too. The quote unquote, the, the, I'm not sure if Grim Reaper has genitalia now that we bring it up. I would imagine I not because he's all bones, right? If, I mean, your, your tailbone's right there. I guess I heard his tailbone. Maybe, you know, maybe that's why he has such a bad attitude. Goods can't get mm. laid. Yeah, that's that's gotta and, be. And part whenever someone's like, "You can't do this, no balls," and he's like, "Stop, stop so bringing it up." Talk, yeah, because honestly, oh, see, Damn. <laughs> one hammer punch. I'm sorry, Kratos, that I said the yeah, magic. I know, word. and now a tag in, and now what is Hellfire and Brimstone doing? And now a oh god, that double oh. takedown. The and once again, Jerry Jones, get out of the way. Spine busted. Cover one, two, and count broken up by Shiva. Broken up with a senton. Yeah, with an unnecessarily intricate senton. <laughs> I mean, but oh, oh, oh he's God, gonna he's going to pay for that. that. Oh, he's going to pay for that. He's going to pay for that. And oh, Grim Reaper oh. went for the clothesline. Kratos said no. <laughs> that was, that was a nice dog. to the gut. And now look at the tag team work from Grim Reaper and Satan. And, yeah, and now choking it. Kratos. Wow. Boy, and she was just dead. Boy, you got to give credit to Hellfire and Brimstone. That was incredible tag team maneuvering to put both Kratos and Shiva out of position. But look at the state of Shiva, man. Yeah. That that power bomb did some damage. Oh, God. That sure did. Wait oh, a second. Oh, top rope arm drag. There we go, Kratos. That's Kratos. Very, uh, very shoulder conscientious. Oh, never skip shoulder day. No. He not, is not even always more. working on those rotator cuffs. Yeah. And now, oh, God, now just oh, kicks oh, into God. the corner. As, <laughs> you know, it, it's not really that surprising, though, Josh, again, that we're seeing more tag team cohesion coming out of the corner of Hellfire and Brimstone than we are uh, Kratos oh! and Shiva, as that big splash took both members of Shiva and Kratos down. Oh, wait that a was second. impressive. Wait a second. Not another choke slam. Where is he going? Not to the table. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. And that's I thought that, he was going to choke some more table here. It made me a little nervous, but Shiva, he has taken a lot of punishment from both Satan and the Grim Reaper. Yeah. 
And now Grim Reaper. Oh, okay, no. get down from there. Oh, what no. are you doing? Oh, and missing. No. Okay, oh, thank okay. God. cannot reach. Thank God. You know, Scaring me. Too big there. And now, oh, what is uh, Satan. what is Satan, Satan doing? Satan with a big fall away slam. Look at the oh. height that he literally took Kratos 10 feet into the air. Man, I am impressed with Hellfire and Brimstone right now. Yeah, they are They are looking as dangerous as they appear. Oh, cut. As it looked like it looked like Shiva was going for the buckshot lariat. Yeah, and got uppercutted mid move. Yeah, was not letting that happen. As now back into the ring. As now, <laughs> Jerry Jones, who's already had a couple shots himself, there's really not a whole Jerry lot he Jones, can do here. Jerry Jones, who has PTSD at this point. Oh, no, oh, not no. another Satan's fury. Not again. And this is going to hurt. And, yeah. Oh God, what a power bomb! I've forgotten who the legal men are. I think it's Grim Reaper I, and Kratos. I wouldn't even deign to guess. I I don't know. It's just been so chaotic. Oh, and a power very, bomb from the Owen. Two power bombs and a rotation Ooh, there. Big spinning one. And Shiva once again is just dead. Yeah, Shiva's. He's been two Satan's Furies, a couple of choke slams. Pretty sure he's the one who got choke slam out of the ring earlier. And uh, he is the defeater of 1,116 gods, is Shiva. So to see him looking in that condition means that you have to have given him a lot of punishment. Mm -hmm. And now an arm bar. A big arm bar yeah, from arm bar. Kratos. Mm -hmm. Trying yeah, to stop that, that. You know, that tombstone pile driver that is that cost Kratos the championship. Yeah, you know, one, of the, one of the darker moments in CIW history. Indirectly, but it was the Grim Reaper's fault, you know, when you think yeah. about it. Oh, wait a second here. Oh, shit. Wait a second oh, here. Shit. This is the Lion's Head Jackhammer. No one kicks out of the Lion's Head Jackhammer. But the referee's distracted, trying to get oh, Shiva man. out of the oh, ring. Shiva and accidentally Satan breaks it his up. Partner. And it wasn't on purpose. Oh, once again, they don't have that tag as team synergy. They just know cohesion. You know, yeah. as as Hellfire and Brimstone, they came in together to CIW. Oh, Kratos is pissed. Kratos well, is pissed. Yeah, well, that would have ended it. You have to yeah. imagine if that had been an uninterrupted three, that would have ended it. Oh, I mean, Kratos' default mood is pissed. Well, but, but I think Grim Reaper's, I don't think Grim Reaper's happy either. Because he didn't want to feel that. He did not want a lion's head jackhammer at all. And you know how insecure for gods both Satan and the Grim Reaper are when it comes to looking like they've been beaten. Yeah. You know, we, we've seen that. That's why they run away so frequently. That's why we yeah, get the fade out and the blurry vid cameras and the conversions and all the shit we've seen from them over the years. Um, Grim Reaper, what are you doing? And Grim Reaper, no, oh god, he's just tossing Kratos out. Um, and now they're fighting on the ramp. What a big right hand. Um, guys. Shiva's wondering what's going on here. But this I, this is what I'm talking about, Josh and Ken. I think I'm Grim scared. Reaper might not care anymore. And this yeah, is what I, I would... Pissed. Yeah, oh, no, he, and I think... The only person happy about this development is the referee right now. He's bringing him into the back here. This can't be good. And now Kratos and Grim Reaper are the legal men. And now the and now both Grim Reaper and Satan are there. And Shiva's like, are we are we still having a match here? And that's it, a double count out. Is wow. that, and now, wait a second. And the blurs, and I guess we're going to the main event as both teams were counted out. As wow. I guess Grim Reaper just stopped caring, and this this feud continues. But uh, wait a second, I'm getting word here. I thought we were gonna head on to our main event, but I'm getting word that they just spilled out into the bar area here. And and oh, oh here we God. are, here we are, Shiva oh, and God. Satan. Uh, Shiva watch and... out, watch out, patrons. Oh God, and these two have spilled out. This has turned into a brawl. This has turned oh, into no. an absolute brawl. As, I'm afraid. As these two go, oh god, and oh, crotched! Oh, was Satan. right to Satan's ball. And and looks like these guys not finished fighting with each other in any way possible. And now, oh god, and now a nice half Boston crab to the back. As these two, they've spilled on the outside, and we knew this was possible to happen, Josh, again. Yeah. We knew this was possible that this match would end. With them just continuing to fight, and it turns I out mean, we we were correct about that notion. I was, I mean, I questioned if we were even going to get an ending to this match. Yeah, which we didn't really. 
No, no we did not. And, and now, oh, on a spike pile driver. Oh. And wait a second, I'm getting word. Oh, go, God, I just got word oh, that there oh was my God. stuff going on in the parking lot, and a camera crew beat me to it. As now we've got Satan and the or, uh, Kratos and the Grim Reaper out here spilled onto the parking lot. It's, it's a damn war zone God, it here. It is a brawl out here. It is mayhem in the arena. And folks, we're going to yeah. try and keep up with both of these as, as best as we can. We can only assume that the brawling is continuing to happen. In in the bar area, we unfortunately do not have split-screen technology. We're still CIW. So, <laughs> so you know, we're getting there, but come on. And, oh, wait a second. Kratos, oh, wait a second. Trying to crunch oh. the leg bones. We've seen what this has done to our boss. Kratos, he has right. had enough of these Grim Reaper. And, oh, God. And, oh, and didn't get it in time. The door kicked into the head of Kratos. Uh, okay, Grim Reaper was lucky. He better be happy that his legs are still functioning. Yeah, I know. As these two are just brawling with each other. Double shoulder tackle. What's going on now? Oh, and now we're back into the bar area. And now slamming Shiva's head is Satan. Oh. As, oh, God, this is... Dear and God. I would say somebody gets security back there, but what is security going to do? Uh, get beat up? Yeah. They're, they're, they're not going to be able to stop this. They're going to be less useful than WWE security. And that, <laughs> that's saying something. That Good is next level over. useless. Yeah. Oh, and now we're bound back in. Oh, wait a second. Oh, God, Grim Reaper with a big choke slam incoming. Oh, God, not onto the car door. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Big choke slam. And now just beating down. It seems like. And now back in. And now Shiva's got Satan into the corner. This is crazy, Josh, again. This is absolute madness. And now just slamming Satan's head into the bar. Think, where's the National Guard? Oh, my God. This is this is wild. Where Where's the IRS? Oh, God. Get the damn police out here. So get somebody out here. Somebody this would not be happening if Michael Corleone was still in charge. This okay. Is, he called it's some moose and some uh, buffalo or some shit. Somebody called the ASPCA. Oh no! Oh god, no, not Kratos. It's leg. A, now Kratos' leg got crunched, but now countered Grim Reaper. Oh uh, well, his leg appears to still be working, so I guess it's not broken. God, and they're both dishing it out to each other. Punch to the quote-unquote dick. Kratos, he doesn't have a dick. The, well, he sold it like he had one, so something sensitive down there. Punch him in the tailbone? And question now, mark. Could be. And now running to the other side. And, oh, what a clothesline! <laughs> and now bow then into the oh, and I uh, God, cheer! Uh, that sign must have been broken as. As Kratos was doing that, or as Green Reaper was doing the clothesline, I'm getting all messed up, ladies and gentlemen. This is so chaotic. This is nuts. I, I don't even know what to say, Josh, again. This this program has turned into a war zone. This, this is, is what World War Three looks like. My God, oh, and a swinging DDT from Satan. And oh, now yeah, right Kratos into the car door. Oh, Green Reaper slamming oh, no. his body first into the car oh, door. God. God, and it's non-stop brutality. Oh, oh, Kratos was able to get out of that, though. He was, but he's looking hurt. I mean, they're all looking hurt. What are we doing here, folks? The, the match has long been over, but the brawling has not stopped between these gods. As like, we would like to get a grip on this. Inseguri from Shiva, and I want to know whose head went through that sign. Half Boston they're Crab. Just, they're just not stopping. They are just not stopping. No, they don't care. They don't care. It is... We cannot stop these folks. And now a figure four, a figure four just to make him suffer. Just to make him yeah. suffer. And now and an arm bar. An arm bar to the Crim Reaper to this make him like suffer. like the world's biggest submission match all of a sudden. My God. These four individuals cannot stop the madness. And now, oh, and a boot to the head. A big boot to the head. As these two deities, you know that Grim Reaper, he's looking to get out of the... Oh, wait a second. Oh, he's oh, no. grabbing a shovel. He's oh. grabbing a shovel from that garbage truck. Kratos I feel are... like that is his oh, preferred God. weapon. Well, oh, at this right moment, the leg. it's seemingly apropos as he's going right to the legs with those shots, with that shovel. Oh, wait a second. Kratos getting the shovel. Kratos has got the shovel. Oh, and now choking him out. Choking uh, out oh. the Grim Reaper. Does choking out a skeleton work? I don't know. 
<laughs> There's is, too much is, going on for me to answer uh, these questions. Punch to the quote unquote dick. Does he, he have doesn't one? have one? Damn it, Brandon! I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. And now, oh god. And now Kratos, oh, punch to the statue as Shiva getting his bearings a little bit with Devaloka! Hit the Devaloka! Oh! He floored him with and that Satan one. And Satan is down! God, that kick is devastating! And now, oh, Satan tried to counter it and Shiva back up and now slamming him into the wall near Gorilla. And oh, God, not into the wall. Stow into the statue head of a Bizzle. Oh, no. As now, oh, God, as Satan finally getting his breath but exhausted. And now, oh, wait a second. No, and now running away. Of course, we've seen oh, that really? before. The blur shovel shot to the head of Damn. Grim Reaper. As How is this going to end? Well, and maybe that was the call to Grim Reaper to go, hey, let's get the hell out of here. Sidewalk slam. Oh, man. As now, and Grim Reaper doing the same. And now we see them disappear. Wow. God, and now we're and now security trying to get in there. I think it's over. But folks, if you thought that was nuts, World Heavyweight Championship on the line, 30-minute Iron Man match, the champ, Bully Maguire, Symbiote Spider-Man, the phenomenal ovation for this man from this crowd. Going one-on-one -on -one with his former tag partner, the Hero of Fortune, the former three-time Exceeds champion in his first world title match, DC's de facto leader in the wake of the Joker leaving, Aquaman. This match is so personal that Symbiote Spider-Man himself, the champ, requested this to be an Iron Man match. Because he and Aquaman, as you've seen over many years, Josh again, have had quite a bumpy relationship with each other. Indeed they have. And Spider-Man, ever since the whole DC thing started, Spider-Man has not been a fan. He's not been a fan, but he's also not been really in the fight against DC either. But he's like, it's not my fight to have, really. Because he's just been on another level as Symbiote Spider-Man. Bully McGuire going to heights we could have only dreamt of. 10 years ago, yeah. but his opponent yeah. is no pushover. He's yeah. a three-time Exceeds champion for a reason. He was arguably the best member of the pre-relaunch CIW when it comes to statistics and overall record. Mm -hmm. He is a man who took over after the Joker just abandoned DC for no reason and said, no, we're still the best thing going in CIW and has made them a consistent nuisance, and he's also a flip-floppy dick. That is also true. As we've known for many years, but he did earn this opportunity in a fatal four-way mm -hmm. elimination match where Freddy Krueger did nine-tenths of the work, and then Aquaman won with a roll-up in classic slippery, slimy fish fashion. So that, that sounds about right. Fast. But this, he's not going to be able to slimmer and slip away from this. The biggest opportunity Aquaman has ever had up to this point. The World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Buckle up, kids. We got 30 minutes. Whoever has the most pinfall submissions, disqualifications count out at the end of half an hour is your world's champion. Here we go. Sean, who you got winning this match? Well, oh God. this I think this is going to be Bully's biggest test to date. You know, not mm -hmm. taking anything away from Freddy Krueger. Not taking anything away from Sub-Zero. Not taking anything away from Jack Black, because he had a hell of a matchup. As Aquaman, at the start of this, is showing maybe a little intimidation or really picking his spots here against his former partner. As I, I, I honestly think this, is, I think this is smart. I think this is smart this by is super, It's smart by both of them, actually. You know, this is gonna, it's a long matchup. And now an Irish whip. Right, and now go. Owen slides from underneath and immediately leaves the ring. Wow. And that is what we're talking about, folks. We're talking about the slipperiness of Aquaman. And he is going to take his time here in, you know, we say this is the biggest opportunity of his life. There is no disputing that. This is the biggest matchup Aquaman has had maybe anywhere mm -hmm. as far as a world championship is concerned. And especially with the pressure of him being the leader of DC, that is not an opportunity that he takes lightly. 
Yeah, and one thing I'll say about uh, Bully McGuire right now, usually when people go out of the ring, that's a, it's a trap. Like, you follow them outside, and they attack you as soon as you get out of there. Bully McGuire's not falling for it. Yeah, no, not this time. And remember, there was a time when Bully was very reckless on, on mm -hmm. the top rope. Wait, at a time when these two tagged together, where he and Tony Hawk were snorting the same whatever they were snorting. And, oh, God. You know, that, but there was that era of this team in the Heroes of Fortune, and they were winning somehow. Uh, and and now right a counter the right to the eyes. A rake to the eyes and another miss on a spinning heel kick. As a couple of kicks here in this early feeling out process, you see the clock there at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. The blue wins counter is Symbiote Spider Man. The red wins counter is Aquaman. Well, Sean, I'm going to tell you, I, I've got Spider Man winning this matchup. I mean, he's been a great world champion. Yeah. Um, although I am not taking anything away from Aquaman, yeah, well, but Spider-Man's my pick. This is going to be a huge test, and I, it's really hard for me to say after that heel kick and again bailing. But Because mm -hmm. Aquaman, when it comes to title matches, he has had those times when people have suspected he's got no shot, and he has somehow slinked away with the championship. He and did that with the point, Exceeds I... title multiple times. Yeah, at this point, I think him just going to the outside is now he's just trying to annoy Spider-Man. Well, of course. Oh, and a kick to the balls. Bro, and a, and really? A cover. No way the first you falls are on that. Such two. An ass. No. Only two. And you are such a dick. Well, then that's what he hit. And and Aquaman, there's no reason to argue with Jerry Jones here tonight. Jerry's already that. had a rough night. Okay, <laughs> leave that man alone. An atomic drop here, and Aquaman did not appreciate that at all. And, you know, Aquaman, you got to give him credit. He knows this is a long haul. The longest Iron Man match in CIW history between these two individuals here tonight. Did you see him just briefly just try to put the referee between him and Spider-Man? Of course. Of course. Because, you know, you got... And you and I have talked about it many times when it comes to Iron Man matches or eliminations. It's <laughs> like punch to the gut. Just right in the middle of that fishy gut. But how important mm -hmm. that first fall is to momentum. Mm -hmm. And a nice big... A body slam there, and now sunset flip cover one, two, and no, only two. As it now, looked like I'm pretty sure Spider Man knew he wasn't going to get the fall there, but that was more about uh, tiring out Aquaman than anything else. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. A Spider Man who has, you know, he's fought in a number of matchups here. I mean, and but Iron Man matches are really not one of his strong suits, if you recall, because Prince of Persia in the two. Iron Man matches that Spider-Man and Persia have had. Persia came out on top of both of those. You know what? You're right. And so that and again, is... Again, again, Aquaman taking a powder, trying to irritate out. and frustrate... And now Spider-Man uh, this time game. going after him. Not letting Aquaman sit there for too long. And, and convulsing like he's really that hurt. I think that was all just puppetry. Yeah. You know, playing possum as the old, as the kids say. As, yeah, nice. Uh, do kids nice these days even know what a possum is? Anyway, uh, not sure. Oh, and a if, hip if toss there is, from Aquaman. If, if if there was a famous TikToker oh, named uh, Possum, then they would know. That's right, and not even a one count on the hip toss. As Aquaman going for quick covers here on mundane moves, just to try and snag that first momentum-filled fall. Mm -hmm. But it is going to be a long haul here, Josh, again. It is not going to be decided here in the early going, which is makes it a lot more understandable, I think, why Aquaman is trying to keep his distance. Oh, inverted yeah. atomic drop. Oh, I mean, he's already kicked him in the dick, so that's going to do some more damage. As we are in the first or the second sixth of this matchup. Mm -hmm. the first Fractions are fun. That's right. And uh, now we're going, oh, now we'll try for a counter there as Spider-Man. Now, here's the question here. What do you have to do here in a matchup like this where endurance is so important and high-risk moves are in both of these guys' arsenals? When do you do them? Where do you do them? Low blow, message send. Damn it. In order you, you for got... them to have the most meaning. And now a spinning toe hold. You, you, you don't want to blow your load too early or else you'll be limping to the bar. The, you'll be limping to the finish line. Right. Yeah, as well, and sometimes we've seen people take that strategy a la Drew with an Insta Claymore. And yeah. sometimes that's worked. Sometimes it doesn't. But mm -hmm. I it think depends. It totally depends, and especially with Ooh. two people who know each other so well like this, 
cover again. One and only one on the heel kick. Mm -hmm. As these two men have 23 minutes, a little over. To who, do, who do you think is going to get that elusive first pinfall or submission? or Who's going to get the first decision? Well, I've seen both of these two do small packages before. So it could be as quick as a small package. But it also could be they have to wear each other out a good distance first and somebody really starts looking beat in order to be beat. It's hard to tell because there's been such a strong feeling out process between these two individuals based on the way that Aquaman has really psychologically... I think had the advantage here in the early going. But yeah, he's doing the oh, but gets kicked right in the back of the head. But he's been doing his best to try to annoy and agitate Spider Man to throw him off his game. Oh, and Spider Man, oh, God, what a roll through drop kick. That was impressive. Hey, That's why he's the world champion, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that right there demonstrates it all. As we are getting, oh, and a big drop kick of Aquaman's own. Yeah, but again, As Aquaman, wait a second. Jerry, Aquaman, Jerry. Going to the top. Going for that big whirlpool. Going for the huge title pool. Oh, and it's encountered. Oh, Nobody wow. there for Aquaman to hit. And now, that was a bad landing right now, there. Now, wait a minute. Roll oh, up. Roll Yisra. up here. One, two, three. Only two. Ooh. Almost caught him off the counter. And Aquaman, understandably frustrated. Oh, Aquaman's like, fuck that. Yeah, he's not happy at all. And it's like, don't don't you dare throw that top of this table off this table. I saw yeah, you look yeah. at it. I saw you look at it. No. Okay, yeah. back into the ring. As, we've gone the entire show thus far. Yeah, we've been we've been on our best behavior here. And now vaulting Aquaman over the top. And now, wait a second. Asai Moonsault. Kind, and CIW oh. certified 30%. Hit him in the legs. Yeah, they did some damage. Which is smart to do to avoid that title 450. Yeah. That Aquaman very seldom uses. We normally yeah. see him use the Whirlpool, which is that Eye of the Hurricane-like maneuver. Oh, damn it. Here we go. Wait a second. Wait a second. Now, Spider-Man. Spider-Man went to choke Aquaman, but didn't do it. And, and to bully Maguire, his conscience just saved the throat of Arthur Curry. Yeah. And he goes, hey, what? why didn't you choke me? You're stupid. And now, and look at that. Come on. Choking Dude. Bully McGuire. And oh, oh, oh. try to go for something. No good deed goes unpunished, as they say. As, just, oh, just, God. He honestly, like, I mean, I get it. He, he still takes the hero part of Heroes of Fortune very seriously. I know. But, That's what we love about Bully McGuire. He won't compromise yeah. his morals. And he has yeah. persevered in the wake of that. As one of the greatest fighting champions CIW has ever had, the first CIW heavyweight champion, if you really want to make that distinction, um, mm -hmm. which I don't like doing, but some people like to, but they were beaten by me, so fuck them. As Aquaman, All standing right. moonsault. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> moonsault. And now a cover off the standing moonsault and too close to the ropes. Good with call by Billy the McGuire. Yeah, great call from Jerry Jones. Inseguri yeah. from Aquaman. Yeah, and that was a that was a good call as well, Sean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Tony. As, uh, <laughs> as this matchup has already here as we into the first ten minutes of this matchup, neither man has been able to score a fin pin a fin ball yet, um, <laughs> which is uh, yeah, boo. Coming soon, the TWTF, the mix of Finn Balor and Logan Paul. Finn Paul. There you oh go. God. As uh, eat your heart out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but no one's scoring a fall yet as the first ten minutes have gone by. And it's a really a testament to the familiarity of these two and just how much this World Heavyweight Championship means to both of these individuals who are both holding their ribs now. Yeah, more Aquaman, though. Aquaman dropped to his knees. Yeah, he did. But And, well, he seemed to recover pretty quickly what with a lot of acrobatics for that clothesline. That was, that was absurd. Impressive. Very impressive there from, from Aquaman. Oh, wait a second, going for another oh, title, man. 450. Is Aquaman oh. near it? And oh, and he countered again, he got up again. Oh, and again, he lands right on his Spidey face. Spidey saw it coming. And Spidey, who uses the Bellini, but has the seldom used Spidey salt yeah. that we hardly see. Oh, nice roll through there from Spider-Man. Oh, and that now, was oh, and another drop kick. 
Oh, but he wasn't able to avoid that drop kick right yeah, in the these, face. These two are beating the hell out of each other, Josh, again. Oh, is, oh, is he going to go for it I again? Don't know. It's going for the top of Spider Man there and gets him off the top. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Well, Spidey at the top. Elbow drop and got him right into the kind of the edge oh. of the skull. And Did not knock him over, though. No, and an insecurity again to the head of Bully McGuire, who seems Man. to. Have, who seems to get busted open every match he's in lately. Yeah, basically. And it seems to light a fire underneath him. Hasn't happened yet. Hopefully he's able to avoid it. But he is holding his head, Josh, again, which doesn't usually mean good things. Yeah, I, I'm a little concerned, not going to lie. And we're not even halfway through this matchup. Belly to belly. I'm surprised we haven't had a single fall just yet. No, and we've had a few near falls, but not enough. Yeah. Oh, to rake to the eyes. And a, wait a and second, again. Whirlpool, Whirlpool uh -oh. from Aquaman, uh -oh. right in the wall, almost the center of the ring. But that Whirlpool, right, as and Spider-Man gets right back eyes. up. No wow. sold. <laughs> wow. Spider-Man was like, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Bleedy. Bleedy. Oh, bro. My God. Off of the off of the Whirlpool. Damn. Bull, Bully Bend McGuire said not Bend today. One. Two, three, Bully McGuire takes go. the first fall. That has got to be just, just debilitating. And Aquaman to your immediately leaving the ring and has to contemplate oh, all of his life choices. Oh, he is downtrodden. He is crestfallen oh, right now. Well, and now. Oh, come on. Don't take it out on Jerry Jones. Really? Why? You, there's no need for that. He nearly died. And, now, and a spinning in the key, come on. Match. Stop! Stop! There's no need for that. Will you stop it? Oh, no, come on. Oh, like, no, not really? a clothesline really? to Jerry. Go, oh, God oh, damn. Stop! Folks, you're going to have to like to stop that, but that's... There's no need for that. What a sore loser. And there's more damn. than half of this match left. It's not like he doesn't have Throwing time. an absolute tantrum. Oh, no. Wait a second. Oh, Chair God. shots. Oh, Chair oh, shots no. to the champion. As the referee Jerry's down, he's not seeing any of this. And oh. the DDT and Bully's busted oh, open. Oh, no. And the evidence disintegrates because of our efforts to go green. Jerry Jones is just coming too. And Bully might be counted out here. Oh, no. His head has got to be busted wide open from that chair DDT oh, as the that, count this begins. Might be a poor Brockle man here. As, Throwing a tantrum might have actually worked out for him. God, as Bully, God, and somehow Bully up on his feet. I don't know how oh. he's on his feet after that. And now an it's a gurry to the head. Oh, which oh, has got to be There's ringing. blood everywhere. Yeah, uh, now another spinning toe hold. Bully's got to have permanent tinnitus after that chair shot. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Bell rung. He would have a crab and back. And Barry Jones' PTSD is even worse now. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a second. Top rope again oh. from Aquaman. Oh, and went for a dropkick Spidey counter oh. again. As we've seen the blood actually inspire Bully Maguire on a number of occasions. Yeah, it might have just pissed him off. Yeah, well, I didn't think he was more pissed off than after he took a whirlpool and said, No, my pinfall. <laughs> <laughs> Bullini, fuck you, bye. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. And oh, what a... What a Stingray oh. Splash! Stingray Splash! God, that works too well. And now, Bully Sean, you are a goddamn wordsmith. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, wait a second. And now a Spidey Steiner! <laughs> My oh, God, man. what impact! And one right after second. another. Oh, and La now, Maestra, La Maestra. I'll cover one, two, and all three! He got him! Yes, that's a get fucked, he Aquaman. He got him on another cover. Spidey goes up by two falls, and that is got oh, that fall has to be demoralizing for Aquaman. Yeah, that's one thing for someone to take your finishing move and respond with "fuck you." Here's mine. Especially uh, after after a series of chair shots when the referee was down. Yeah. And now sweep the leg from Spider Man. <laughs> oh, and drop kick the knee afterwards. Man, these guys, as. Aquaman now has to come back from at least two falls to take the lead to take this championship away from Bully Maguire and throwing the head down in front of him. Diamond Dallas Page would actually be happy for that move. It stretches out your back. 
and a long spine yeah. will help you hold back the hands of time. Oh, come on! I poke, stomp, and now wait a second. Oh, a DDT right into the skull. Uh, right on that same spot that he DDT'd in the chair. And the cover from Spidey, two, three, and Aquaman gains a fall. Can, all right, can you stop being a little baby he's bitch now? He's still down, but he's woozy, man. Aquaman oh, is woozy. Kick. And he knows That's he's got to fight from underneath. We're just under the 14-minute mark here. Yeah. With still a long ways to go, Josh, again. And with the amount of blood coming out of Bully McGuire's head now. Yeah. How is 13 more minutes of blood pouring going to fare for our champion? And oh, no! Oh, oh Bully like blinded! Bully blinded by the blood in his eyes. He saw he saw Aquaman was going to the top rope. He tried to take him off the top rope. He accidentally and he kicked hit the ref Jerry in the face. Jones by mistake. As, oh, and that's no. not good. And this has been a horrible night for Jerry Jones. Yeah, and Aquaman. Oh, wait a second. Aquaman oh, getting man. another chair. Spider Man oh, going man. to the top rope. Oh, God! Oh, my God! Jerry, oh, my God. Jerry Jones! The referee saw it. The referee saw it, but the chair shot to knock Spidey off the top rope. That was disgusting. He hit. Th that was one of the most vile chair shots I have ever seen in my life. And that was. That was. Oh, that was disgusting. And now another DDT. Jerry Jones saw it and called for the disqualification, but the damage may have been done. The cover yeah. here. One, two, three. Bully like, is was, still ahead three sick. to two. That but was sickening. My God, that impact. Well, that's how much this championship means to Aquaman. You know, we said he takes this very seriously, and clearly he's yeah. going to do anything it takes to beat his former partner and win the world's championship here tonight. Yeah, and Symbiote Spider-Man's not looking too good. No, he's not. But Aquaman, he's taking a hell of a lot of punishment himself. Yeah. Here is that. But, but what is it going to take? Spider-Man's still in the lead, though. He is, but Aquaman definitely is taking control. Oh, and no. And there's the, there's the smoking gun that we saw yeah. to just deal that cranial shot. You can see the indent of Spidey's head in it. Yeah, that that was that was gross. That yeah. was nasty. And now, that that was the that was the CTE machine right yeah, there. Seriously, as now another counter here. How Bully McGuire is some still fighting in this matchup after the shot, but now look at Aquaman. His guts really starting to hurt him. Yeah, drop kick counter. Whoa, whoa, almost again, and Jerry. Also, Jerry, please be careful. Jerry, whoa, go whoa, to the. Whoa, whoa, you better learn from Alfred, man. You, when you, they go near you, run. <laughs> yeah, Bolt, run. Get the oh, hell out of man. there. You know, don't just sit there and watch, like, right close up like that. You, you'd think getting mauled. Wait a second. Wait 0. a second. 0.0 seconds oh, into a Oh, God. Match. Oh, rolling cutter, though. Innovative maneuver there and a standing moonsault from Aquaman. Man, as Bully is down. On top of offense. Well, and he's, he's trying everything he's got in his arsenal. Because you, sometimes you only get one shot at the world championship. Sometimes, yeah. oh, come on. Wait a second. Now another poke and a kick to uh, the balls. Uh, dude. And that are was, you serious? That was a brutal kick to the balls. As yeah. now Aquaman pulling Spidey to the, don't tie it like that. Oh, no. Come on, one, dude. two, don't be a petty three, little bitch. and the score is oh, tied. He... I'm such a petty little bitch. And with... How can you be proud of that? Yeah, well... It's, if he wins the world title, I don't think he's going to care what he did. Because to DC, the ends always justify the means. No matter how lucky yeah. they get, no matter how much help they get, the ends always justify the means for DC because they don't care. Yeah. And they, I, I guess you could say they're done caring. Yeah, they they sure have been for many years. Wait a oh. second. Oh! Oh, as, oh, okay. As Brock Lesnar would be proud of that shooting star press. <laughs> as, <laughs> as I mean, I mean, nice try. Yeah. Well, but well, like, Aquaman, I, I, a shooting star press takes a lot of core strength, and Aquaman has been holding his gut for a lot of this matchup. See? Yeah, he needs to work on his distance. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that did not work. We've seen Aquaman try that and whiff and lose a hell in a cell match against Smoke. It's standing yeah. moonsault. So yeah, that's never really worked out for him. As I mean, I, I appreciate the gumption, but still. Totally. Takes a lot of moxie. 
to do that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, but regardless, we are in the final nine minutes here. Standing sidekick, the Ooh. score tied three to three. And folks, if it ends in a tie, Spider-Man will retain the belt. Oh, the count's that up to five got, here. The count's that up kick to five. That Spider-Man right underneath the chair. Oh, Yo, no. wait a second. Whoa, no. Oh, Aquaman, no. come on. Don't do this. Oh, Not into the announce table. Oh, Not shit. into. Oh, God. And that oh, wasn't that our was table. The announce table. That was the spare announce table, thankfully. But uh, A. Bizzle did just drop off a uh, 20K into my Venmo account because of the table bonus he doubled. And I must admit, he has been not the worst runner of this show. Chaotic? Yeah. Yes. That you cannot deny. I miss the structure. But yeah. I have been getting paid. <laughs> so that has helped. But now, speaking yeah. of getting paid, is the referee's count here up to seven? Spider Man's still down. Is Aquaman going to oh. take the lead on a count out? Referee's count up to eight. Spider Man oh, stirring. Is he going to get in the ring by nine? And he does. Wow. And Man, that surprises Aquaman me. Is, Aquaman's pissed off. Yeah, I can't imagine Aquaman expected Spidey to get up that fast. Was hoping but for again, that count that's out. That's why he's our champion. That's right. Because this man never quits. No, he does One not. One thing you could say about Spider-Man. Oh, low blow. Message said. Damn. Uh, and now another. He's already gotten a pinfall off of that. Yeah, he has. And Aquaman, and now another, now a roll up here, going for a roll up one, two, oh, no. and three. Oh, he caught him. Oh, he caught Spidey. Shit. That's how he earned the number one contendership. And now Aquaman is in the lead. Oh, that I think that pissed off Spider Man. Well, of course it did. Spider Man monkey flip. And, and how is Bully Maguire going to respond? Well, now the championship is officially in jeopardy. This is the first lead yeah. Aquaman has taken all matchup. And oh, now oh, bow and arrow, bow and arrow. And arrow. But grabbing the second rope smartly was Aquaman. Hopefully that yeah. was enough there. The cover, one, two, three. Only two. Aquaman oh, kicks out. Damn it. The bow and oh. arrow, not enough, but smartly working the ribs and the gut of oh, Aquaman. Damn it. And another low blow. If this man wins the title after everything we saw tonight, I'm going to be so disgusted. Me too. And, this... Sp and Spider-Man's bleeding so much, he's trying to recreate his black and his red and black, uh, his red and blue outfit, whatever the fucking color. Well, are. he's he's right now red and black, and yeah. uh, Spider-Man's face sees her eyes, <laughs> and somewhere somehow Mick Jagger sees Spider-Man's red face and wants to paint it black. As we uh, go absolutely to well the peak done. of unnecessary references, yeah. As uh, and you now went for a spinning heel kick. And, oh, and a Don't back suplex. Oh, nice response, though. Nice well, response. Spider-Man, but he's still fighting from behind here. And now Aquaman, who has been playing the long-distance game all night. Yeah. This is the time he needs to use it the most. But Spider-Man keeping him square in the middle of the ring. Yeah, he has less than six minutes, though. He's got to do something, and he's got to do something fast. Yeah, because it, you, this time goes by faster than you think, ladies and gentlemen. And a Tobe Atomico. <laughs> as nice. a, a brilliantly done now that's a bizzle came up with that one uh yeah and so i gotta give credit where credits due. that would be our fearless leader bellini bellini out Bellini's of nowhere there. yes god he gets him out of nowhere pin him pin him, pin him to tie it can spider-man tie it to I'm bring it to it then out the, the cover right, here we go here one, we go here we go two three and we're tied again all right we're tied tied at four with five minutes to go Oh, man, but look, dear God, he is bleeding like a sieve. Yeah, folks, biz business has picked up here at a belly-to-belly -belly slam as these two have beaten the holy hell out of each other for 25 minutes. Cover on the belly-to-belly. -belly. One, two, three. Spidey takes the lead. There we go. There we go. There we go. And you notice Spider-Man has been working more and more on those ribs. Mm -hmm. He's been trying to stop to Aquaman that entire core strength that is so crucial to Aquaman's offense. Yeah. And folks, this is your main event of Autumn Asylum. Stay tuned for Halloween. We've got Hollow Wrestling and then Thanks Grappling on Thanksgiving and a couple of matches in between those days. Airplane spin from Aquaman. As um, they're both a little addled from that. And oh and oh come on. Kick to the you, balls, but Aquaman is hurt. Hot. And now the cover, not off a low blow. One, you two, bitch. 
three. Come on. God, I, I, oh. Two pinfalls that Aquaman has had have been from low blows, and the other two have been from eye poke stomp DDTs, standing moonsault. And let's not forget him using the chair in one of the most disgusting chair yeah, shots I've ever seen. Most, yeah, that was nasty. One oh, of the no. most brutal chair shots, knocking Spider-Man off the top rope. Got oh, disqualified next... for it, but it seems not to have mattered. Did you see what, like, he, he was about to go for something, but I think he was like, yeah, I don't want to land on my face after shooting Star Press again. Well, you remember, he went for two title 450s, and Spidey avoided both, and must have yeah. judged that the distance between him and Spidey was too far. You know, give a credit to Aquaman, he's learning at least. Yeah. Which was not the case when Spider-Man was doing all that flippy shit. Yeah. And Oh, man, even a simple snapmare yeah, they, is making... Well, Aquaman grab it. Uh oh, oh, he's oh, going now, for it again. Now elbow drop. Spider Man on the corner now, Ooh. leaning against the ropes. Oh, what is he going to do here? Oh, not another one of those big clotheslines. And oh, big, got him. Big back flipping clothesline. Yeah, that exchange. Oh, wait a second. And now, not oh, again. No. Going for another title. Oh, 450. Oh, Can he land oh, at the third shit. attempt? He got him. Third time oh, for Tony. No. One, two, three. Damn it. And Aquaman has taken the lead with two and a half minutes left. Spider-Man's oh, in trouble. I'm, the I'm championship worried. could I'm change worried. hands. Believe! Believe! What a response! Come on, Roy! Oh, my Roy. God! Cover him! Cover him! Cover him! that fish! Cover him! Hit that fish right now! One! Two! We're tied again! Damn, come on, Bowling! This is so intense! Two minutes, twelve to go! Oh man, are, are, who's gonna who's taking this thing home, Sean? I'm losing my voice like O3 Michael Cole, Josh again. <laughs> this is so intense. Two minutes left on the clock. The score tied at six. Who will leave and, Autumn Asylum the world's champion? And Spider-Man with repeated knee strikes to that injured midsection of Aquaman, and then a suplex. As and remember, Spider-Man asked for this matchup. He did. He asked for this match. And did he think that this was going to be as brutal and as sadistic as we've seen as both of these men have gone to the absolute limit here in the name of CIW's World Heavyweight Championship, your main event of Autumn Asylum? We are down to the final 90 seconds. The score tied. A tie will win, mean a retaining of the title. Wait a second. Spidey, Spider what are you doing? Tornado DDT. Nice. As Spider-Man... He knows uh, he knows that he could tie at six and he'll retain, but you know that's not the way Spider-Man likes doing things. No, it is not. He wouldn't have chosen an Iron Man match if he didn't want a winner. All right, we're, we no. have oh, one minute left final in this second. Match. The final minute, folks. The score tied at six. The world title on the line. Best friends turn bitter rivals. Spider-Man the champ. Aquaman the challenger. We are in the final crunch time, nut cutting time, as they say. Bellini! Bellini! Yes! Yes! Bellini! Yes! Cover he him! He got him! Cover him, Spider Man! Cover him! In the fish again! He's do got it, him! Do it, cover! One, two, three! Yeah. There we go! 30 right, seconds now. left! All right, 30 seconds! We got 30, 30 seconds! 30 seconds left! Can Aquaman find a way to tie this he's gonna have to win by two with 22 seconds and josh again i think i think our champ might it. just have won this with well, a crunch time dd crunch time bellini oh, we're up oh, to the yeah. top over the top and outside the ring that's it <laughs> that's oh, it aquaman, aquaman knows oh, it it's over symbiote spider-man in the final wow. minute Pulls off the unthinkable Bellini to retain seven to six in the damnedest Iron Man match I have ever seen. Your thoughts, Josh, again. That is why he's the champ, ladies and gentlemen. That's Spider Man right. survives yet again. That's why we love Bully McGuire. That's why we love our world's champion. What a matchup between these two. DC almost won all the titles, but was stopped one more time. Thank you all for coming to Autumn Asylum. We'll see you at Hollow Wrestling. Bully McGuire's reign lives on.